if you look at the late 90s and early 2000s, if you look at the military conflict, the injury patterns had really started to change. You started to see a lot more eye and facial injuries, uh, you dealing with a different kind of threat, more explosions, more IEDs. And so as the injury patterns changed, eye and face injuries started to become a larger problem. I started approaching the Department of Defense with different ideas and different techniques we could employ to help reduce injury in soldiers. We were able to mesh our skills with the DOD need, and that's where a lot of the early funding came from. One of the interesting research projects was helicopter pilots flying with night vision goggles and the risk of eye injuries from impact. So when we looked at preventing eye injuries in the military, we needed a tool to evaluate goggles and eye protection. What we created was this head form called the Focus Head Form. It's the most advanced head form ever developed for evaluating eye and facial injuries. And there's sensors behind the eyes so we can understand how much force is put into the eye. Once we quantify that, we can calculate risk. So we created all this research for eye injuries and preventing eye injuries in soldiers. We published all that, and then toy companies started seeing these papers and realized that they could use some of that data as well. So for example, uh, Nerf guns and Nerf darts, uh, squirt guns, little toy helicopters. So one of my favorite projects was when we got to work on designing a lightsaber. So you click a button and the lightsaber extends. We did a lot of research on that spring. So how do you design the spring so the toy works, but if a kid activates it, it doesn't put their eye out? The way we do that is all based on the fundamental research from the DOD project of understanding eye injuries. Then we can back out the mass and velocity to design the perfect spring so the lightsaber works, but lowers the risk of eye injury. Children of military members, I think they're gonna be very active using all these products. You know, it's fun to go around and shoot Nerf toys. It's fun to, to play with bows and arrows. And we want to make sure that when they do that, it's as safe as possible. One of the most important motivations for our research is reducing risk of injury. And if you look at the soldier and you look at these men and women putting their life on the line to allow us to have the greatest country on earth, reducing those injuries, reducing that risk is wonderful motivation.